Today I'm showing you guys the 7 best AI websites to auto-generate TikToks and YouTube shorts for your faceless YouTube channels. Let's get started with Munch. You thought I was feeling you? No. Now don't let the name fool you, this program does a crazy amount of things and I'll have the link down below for it as well as everything else in this video. So essentially what it does is it generates short clips for all of the social media platforms you are seeing on screen right now. So let's say I wanted to create short clips for TikTok and YouTube shorts. I can select those two and then you can change the aspect ratio to whatever social media platform you intend on posting to as we're doing YouTube and TikTok 9 by 16 is the most optimal aspect ratio next we can just upload our video or we can just find a public video on YouTube which is most likely what you guys are going to be doing if you're just reposting content to an automated channel alrighty so I'm just going to select this Mr. Beast podcast that was posted a couple days ago we're going to copy that, paste it in here, and we're going to go next. And here we can choose the subtitles that we like. Personally, I think the Hormoso is by far the best subtitles on Get Munch, but you guys can play around with whatever subtitles you like best. Now you can switch the optimal clip length for your clips. I recommend using I Trust Munch. If you use a length of 15 seconds, it may cut your clip off while somebody is talking, which is not optimal. So I definitely recommend using I Trust Munch. And then we just got to munch it and we are off to the races. Now munch offers so much when it comes to analytics. Once you get your video out there, you can see that with our video of the Mr. Beast interview, we have all the keywords that's used in this video, as well as some top trending keywords in eight of our clips that munch got for us. It's able to tell us what clips are going to have the highest score. And it even tells you what platforms the clips were specific graded for. It gives you the topics of the clips and there's just so much more when it comes to Munch. I absolutely love it. All right, this is Trent. Just after editing, I realized the audio is playing over my voice in this portion of the video, but I just wanted to state that Munch is able to create you descriptions, hashtags specific to the platform you are posting on using only AI, which I think is phenomenal because obviously if you're going to use a platform like YouTube Shorts, you're going to want your description and hashtags to be a lot shorter compared to a platform like TikTok or Twitter. And the fact that Munch understands this and uses AI to perfect those descriptions, I just think is phenomenal. Now, if you're not happy with the final product that Munch gives you, you can go and edit the video yourself in their custom editor. Here you can change what the captions look like, the aspect ratio, crop things out. And I wouldn't say it's the most in-depth editor in this video, but everything is super super simplistic to use and once you're finished with everything and you like the final product you can go to export and you can export directly to the social media platform or you can just download the video if you weren't a munch for the last software you may be a munch for clip.ai which does a very similar process in creating short generated clips for your automated channels on clip we can choose the length of the video we're going to upload i'm going to choose something that's 10 to 20 minutes and we got to choose what the video is going to talk about. For this example, I'm going to grab one of my own YouTube videos and we're going to use it in this example. I'm going to select science and technology. Now the rest of the questions that it's asking right now, I don't think are that important. Now, once again, you can do the exact same thing in Munch by adding in the URL of a video. And then we just got to select the language and it was in English Then we can upload our video. And the next thing you want to do is choose how many clips you're going to grab from this recording, as well as the interval of the clip so obviously you want to keep your clips anywhere from 60 seconds to 15 seconds if you're doing short form content and what i really like about clip is that you can actually select the keywords that you want to grab from this long form piece of content so in our video it's about the seven best mid-journey alternatives so maybe i'd use keywords like art or free and now clip will find any short clips of me saying those words which will hopefully make out for good short form content you can also also add your own vocabulary for words that might not be in the dictionary. So these are like made up words or like chat GBT. I know it doesn't get picked up 
by AI captions. And I notice a lot of times you have to go back into editing and edit the caption because AI just doesn't know how to read chat GPT. So we'll add in some vocabulary to help out the AI bot. Now this program is going to take us only nine minutes. This makes sense as the video was much shorter than the Mr. Beast podcast. And the numbered clips like number one, number two, number three are supposed to be the best clips that you can grab. So we're going to grab number one here and we actually want to change the aspect to portrait. Now, unfortunately, what it's going to do is just shrink our video and then add the captions to the bottom of the video, which isn't the most optimal layout for short form content. You can choose to fit it to height, but then it doesn't use AI to automatically track your face to the center of the video, which is very unfortunate. There is an okay amount of style animations you can do to the text on screen, but not having that face tracking, I do believe is a massive issue with Clip. Alrighty, if you haven't heard of Clip, you have definitely heard of this program, most likely. It's called Opus Clip. I won't go over it too much as I've used this exact program on my channel before. It's without a doubt the most popular AI clipping program in the world, and most people are using this program. It works very similar to the programs I've shown before where you grab a YouTube link and it will find the best clips within that video. Now, unfortunately, because of Opus's popularity, you get an error message most likely like this stating that there's like so many people in a queue and it's going to take quite a long time to process your clips, which is why I kind of wanted to make this video showing you a ton of alternatives to Opus Clip. And this is truly what makes Opus the best program or one of the best programs or one of the most popular programs is because of how good it's able to rate clips and find the best clips of long form videos. It gives you a full score along with what the clip is about and then why the clip is going to do very well on social media. You can also edit the clip if you choose to do so or you believe that the captions kind of got slightly skewed. So let's say it didn't actually say process in the video. Well, you can just edit that out or let's say I wanted to highlight the word stranger and I wanted to make it a green color. Well, there you go. I just switched it to green and I want to make things yellow. You can do that there is a ton of different customization options. This video isn't sponsored, but I just want to mention that I'm soft launching the Kingdom Club, which is a membership group where I teach you guys how to grow your automated YouTube channel. It's not just a shitty course. I actually give you one-on-one -on -one advice and you'll get private access to exclusive Discord servers. The link will be down below in the description. Now, video is a fantastic program that does a lot of the similar features of the past programs I've shown. However, they have some bonus features that I really like. Unfortunately, though the free version only lasts a little bit over an hour so I definitely recommend testing out video just to play around but if you're really serious about it you are going to have to pay additionally they only support English videos at the moment so that is kind of unfortunate for any of my bilingual viewers on video you can select the portrait size that you want to use we'll just do the base vertical format and then you can select the template that you want you could add a title to your clip at the top like so and you can adjust the captions to look a certain type of way additionally you can choose to do different formats like this one right here where it has the video split in two this is really good for podcasts related clips as it shows both perspectives of the people on the podcast I'm gonna run with this template right here additionally with video you can add your custom handles to the clips so that people can't repurpose your clips and post them anywhere on social media, which is a little ironic considering you're taking someone else's content and just repurposing it into a vertical format. So I wouldn't recommend adding your own handle to someone else's content. I think that's a little weird, but if you wanted to do it, go for it. The options there. Now, unfortunately on video, they don't give you a timer on how long your video is going to take to process. They just say they'll send you an email once it's finished. Now our clips done, we can go to review clips. And here you guys can see that we have a ton of clips generated through video. Now, every single one of these clips uses a different template, which I'm not sure I selected, but I guess this is a good thing. It kind of shows you the different options that you can get with this program. Now, just grabbing one of these clips right here where this guy, Zach, realizes his wife is a murderer, I know would pop on social media. They also add some chapters to the video to divide it by topics, which I think is great. Keep in mind, this is all done through AI. Now, I'm going to use this clip.
clip right here and we're going to select the edit and download video option. What's really cool in the upgraded version, you can get AI descriptions of the video, which would make the uploading process much easier. They also have the option to change the template. So that's great. I didn't realize that you could just do this after the fact. So yeah, even if you don't like a template, you can go and change it after the fact. Now I like this template right here. So we're going to select edit and download. And in the editing mode, you can do a ton of options. This is the moment Zach realized his wife, Ashley, was a secret murderer. What's really awesome about these captions is that for every word, it highlights in yellow, which I think just looks great. Now, if you notice sometimes in this video, the camera isn't panned to the character on screen that we want it to. So you can enable cut magic. And what cut magic does is it finds faces and it makes sure that the video is panned onto that user. This is one of the reasons a program like Opus Clip is so amazing. It's because it does exactly what cut magic is going to do for this video. Now you can see what cut magic has done is it split up each segment of our video and we can see the scene colors that match up on this bottom taskbar right here. And as you guys can see on the split screen one, that is a nice purple. So we'll go and scroll to split screen. And as you guys can see, it did a nice split screen showcasing the two images of his wife. Now, if you notice that the AI didn't do a good job of detecting like right here in this scene, all you have to do is scroll to where that scene kind of starts. And here you can just scroll on the subject that you want the camera to focus on. And now when we play interrogation room, can you tell me how her, which is exactly you came to know wanted. Taylor? Um, through working uh, now we can just download the video and yeah you can go and upload it to whatever platform you want obviously if you want to upload in 1080p which is the most ideal option you will have to pay for the pro version now the next program we're going to use is called too short.ai and it is by far the most simplistic of the programs i'll be showing you guys in today's video and what's really cool about this program is when you paste in a video if a lot of other users have already generated short form content using that exact same video, it is going to find the best clips to post for your own channel. Now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to insert a random video of mine. And you're about to notice a massive difference as it's going to state something about that there is no shorts created for this. And then I can generate shorts if I would like to. What's really nice about Too Short is that it's super short to generate stuff. It literally took me seconds to get this generated. However, I don't believe the clips it gets for you when you generate shorts that haven't been generated before they're usually not the best now after choosing to trim this video right here it actually gives you a pretty correct title for our short clip as you can see an ai driven npc in a video game which is exactly what our clip is about and it also gives you tags for your clip as well so you can use these in the hashtags of your video now what's really nice about too short is that it has a ton of editing features within the platform However, I do find it is slightly buggy, so that can add some annoyance. However, it's completely free at the moment, and the trial period lasts quite a while, so I definitely recommend going and testing it out. Alrighty, Pictory is without a doubt one of my favorites on this list, and that's because it's pretty unique and has a lot of differences compared to the other tools I showed in today's video. You can do crazy stuff within Pictory, like script to video, so you literally input your script for video, and Pictory will edit a video for you to post online. I think I'm going to have an entire video showcasing everything within Pictory as there's just so much more to go over and I can't include it all in today's video. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're interested in that. Now on Pictory, you guys can find a template that you like. And these videos are very good for like educational type videos or even storytelling type videos. So I'm just going to select this option right here. And we're going to go nine by 16. What's great about Pictory is that you don't need to grab already made YouTube videos. You can just get articles or blogs online and Pictory will basically create you an entire YouTube video or TikTok about the article that you pasted in. And it will also include a background video that relates to the text on screen. So as you guys can see in this article, it says every $5 donated provides new access to safe water. And what clip do we have on screen right now? Well, we have someone washing their hands. This is absolutely 
absolutely crazy for AI and the amount of things you can do within Pictory, like add in your own audio, visuals, branding. There's so much more that goes into Pictory. I'm probably going to make an entire video on this in a couple days, so I'm not going to go too more in depth on this program, but there is a lot here. All right, so Wizard works very similarly to other programs that I've shown in today's video. However, there are a few key differences. One, you ever have a Zoom call with somebody or maybe you're doing an interview on Zoom, you can record it or directly import it from Zoom and it will cut up the best clips in your interview. This could be crazy if you are in a company and you have a meeting and you only want the highlights of the meeting to be shown to other members in your company. Well, you could use Wizard to cut up those clips and spread them to your employees. We're not going to do that. We're just going to get a YouTube video like I've shown with the other examples in today's video. But yeah, there is a lot of opportunity with this program and it's pretty exciting. They also support a ton of languages at the moment, which you just don't see with these other programs. And they provide a lot of customizing within your videos or short clips that it generates, which these other programs just don't seem to offer. So once again, a fantastic option if you're looking for your go-to repurposing program. It might be confusing at first, but what you want to do is switch it off landscape to vertical or portrait, which is probably better for short form content. In today um, although the core of and you can also change the layouts. This is why I recommended the zoom videos with Wizard is because it's kind of optimized for those layouts. Obviously the video I grabbed isn't really optimized for that, but like Pictory, Wizard also offers a ton of customization options and it even offers you the ability to translate your captions into different languages. Now, unfortunately, Wizard does take a while to export their videos, which is one of the biggest downsides when it comes to using this program and that's going to conclude it for me in today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel and have yourselves a fantastic day